will he do jail time or will he be okay because he's a bit was a billionaire and this happened to him? Well, it, it's to it's to the uh, it's to the white establishment in particular the white supremacy uh, mentality to put him in jail. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, when you think about like just what happens, you know, with P Diddy in this case, going back to that, because and that I'm gonna get back to the original question that I asked. Like, will he do jail time, or will he be okay because he's a bit was a billionaire and this happened to him? Well, it, it's to it's to the uh, it's to the white establishment, in particular the white supremacy uh, mentality, to put him in jail. Because they put him in jail, then you say, here's this black man that was a billionaire who had all these great accomplishments. You know, he ain't nothing but a pedophile. He ain't nothing but a rapist. He ain't nothing but a molester. You know, now all of the young people that inspired to be like P. Diddy, now all of a sudden their dreams and hopes have been deferred. You know what I'm saying? And you see that happening throughout the black community on massive levels. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I, I try to make it my best to try to, you know, show brothers, man, you know, we got to be independent of all of these. You know, it's good to sign with Universal, good to sign with all these people. You know what I'm saying? But make it for leverage's purposes only. But on the backdrop of that, own your own clothing business, own your own uh, uh, shoe company, own your own liquor, you know, own something and use them as a conduit or as a mechanism to promote what you got going on. Wow, I, okay. And the thing, I, I, I like I said, I definitely, I want to see this, uh, you know, I remember when, you know, and shout out to Vlad, uh, you know, I got to bring him up, you know, I remember when Boosie was locked up and you said, he, you know, if he didn't save free, you know, Boosie, you know, it was pretty much F him, you know, but the thing I, I look at now is, you know, Boosie's home, but Boosie's still going through Litigations. I see him every time I see him. He got that thing on his ankle, that yeah. that that monitor on his ankle. And well, I just talked to Boosie manager Jay. Uh, I texted him yesterday, a day before yesterday, and I told him I said Boosie need to join my initiative that we have with the White House, along with Miss uh, Castleberry Hernandez. Uh, we got Ice T and uh, a few other people uh, join this initiative called Stop the Violence, where Supreme, my son, he's going to be performing at the White House, and we're going to be going, HHF is working closely with the White House to stop the gun violence, so we try to get Boosie in on that initiative, too. So they're supposed to be getting back with me. Ice-T already did his commercial, so we want Ice-T to, uh, Boosie to drop a commercial, and I think this would be a good look for him, this show, you know, of course, and then to have that proximity to the White House, that would be cool, too, because now, you know what I'm saying, his prospect of getting a pardon from uh, uh, Joe Biden might be a little bit better. Wow. Um... Okay, you um you gotta understand, man. The temperature is, is quite warm when when you you see um, the paperwork that just came out yesterday uh, on the facts of the the people who it was a DJ that came out against um, uh, P Diddy. He said that he'd seen some things and he have some visuals. He have some video footage. He have some stuff that's gonna open door. He said it was one person in particular that was from Philadelphia. That he basically was, uh, he was from Philadelphia. He used to go with Nicki Minaj. He didn't call no name, <laughs> but everybody so, so jumping got, so up. He, he got actual video footage. Yeah, he said he has video footage of, of some, what of some things that of happened. Some sex, sexual activity. There's some things that happen at those parties that mm. that we're definitely um, um, we're waiting to see. And I don't think when you have a lawyer and stuff and they bring these allegations out and they bring all of these, you know, this paperwork out, it's something that I would think that they had else they wouldn't even go that hard. Well, you, uh, you see what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like if it is something that he, whoever this DJ is saying that he got and he said he was, he was abused. So that means he, so he already telling us that he the only person that got it. So if it leak uh, or outside, it ain't going to leak, that's what, if it leak, they going to probably the, bring it, it in court. If it leak outside the case, he can count. He can counter sue for def defamation of character. You know what I'm saying, and all type of shit. Because he's not gonna let it leak but because that's his be, bag. Uh, but, he uh, trying to do a money grab with he, that. He, let's be clear. It's only allegations. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah he so, tried to do a money grab. So it's only allegations. And you know, uh, it was allegations I, with. I agree it, with you hold on. It was allegations with Cassie. 
At first, yeah, yeah but I'm saying, it's, and he, know, and he, yeah. and he went on, got that he went on, paid that money out quick. But it's a, it's a presumption. But now it's a, it's a, it's you know? a uh, also until proven guilty. It, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you and know, it's a me too movement okay. now. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.